In this video I'm going to guide you through how to do an upgrade via the Software of Excellence portal. So once you're logged into the Software of Portal as I am here, first of all the main blog will tell you everything new about the version you are there. But on the right hand side you've got an update is available. We just click on the word update now which will take us to the update screen. From here you get the ability to download the update. You, you also have some written instructions that you can view and a video as well which you're likely watching now. Please check that the region is correct up the top here. Make sure you're downloading the right upgrade for you. But you click download update. And this will then begin downloading it at the bottom of your screen here. Depending on which browser you're using, I'm using Google Chrome, this may display differently. Once the update is downloaded, if we just click on this to run it, you get information about Windows trying to protect your machine here with the smart screen. Just click on more info, click on run anyway. If you get a message like so, just click on yes to run the update. The installer will now extract itself to your computer ready to run. Once the extraction is complete, you will get to the uh, wizard, which will run you through how to update. You can see you've got some information here about the update, so read through that and say that you have checked that your Windows installation is up to date. It's just saying that it wants you to run all your Windows updates on all your machines before um, running this update, as it will make your upgrade run a lot smoother. So I click that and I click next. Below is the license agreement, so read through this. And if you're happy to, to run through this, click tick I agree and click next. Then decide which databases you wish to upgrade. You likely to have practice and demo, but you could likely have anything written here. Just make sure you upgrade the right ones and you can tick and untick these. So once you've ticked all the data sets that you want to upgrade, you click on next. It will ask you to confirm, which you click yes to. Next, we click next, and this will begin your upgrade. This upgrade has a number of different steps that it will run through. First of all, backing up your database before then uninstalling and installing the correct update files. This can take some time, so I'm going to skip through. Now the upgrade is complete, you'll see the workstation upgrade monitor appear. There are no workstations currently in the list as I only have this running on a one computer network system. So you'll see all your computers come up here and they'll come up in blue, so your reception, surgery, they'll come up in blue, they'll turn yellow to show that they're upgrading and then they'll either go green to say that they're successful or red to show that they failed. If they're red, then you can call into our support team and get some help around um, trying to fix that. Um, it, but if they're green, go ahead and um, log in. It's always installed on your server, so you can see my exact here, so I'm just going to run that. You can then log in as per normal, put in your username and password in. If you have any questions, please contact our support team. We'll be more than happy to